It is no secret that the world we live in is far from perfect. That's why the United Nations Global Goals exist, to try to make it a better place through international cooperation. There are many changes that the world needs to see, but from my perspective, the most important ones are the following. Getting quality education for all is the base for producing any significant changes in the world and one of the tools we can use to get them. They say knowledge is power, and I am certain that it is true and that by having free and accessible education, the earth will turn into a better place. Climate action should also be prioritized by governments and people to save the planet and every creature on it from a green future, if there even is one. This goal is essential for everyone's survival and, although in the last few years it has started to be given more importance, there's still a long way to go. And last but not least, gender equality is still a more than relevant issue and we must close the gap that exists between how men and women are treated so everyone can truly have the same opportunities regardless of their sex. All in all, there are a lot more changes that should be introduced in our governments and societies to make the world a better place, but these are what I consider to be the most important and urgent ones. The world needs our help. We need to change it. Many animals are suffering. In the ocean, turtles, for example, eat bats and plastics, thinking they are jellyfish. Many fish can get trapped in the rubbish that we throw in the ground and then it reaches the sea. It seems silly, but if we continue like this, little by little, we are going to destroy the planet. Also, polar bears, which could become extinct by the global warming, since the ice is melting. Not only we have to change this, also many other things like equality. We all have the same and equal rights, and not only because of my skin color, appearance, sex, age, religion, we have to be discriminated. We all only need to contribute a little bit and we will improve. Hi, I'm Clara and I'm agree with Voices for Change. The change I want to see is clean oceans because one of these days our future family is going to find that there is no clean beach for going on vacation and there are going to be dead animals with a lot of plastic. I don't want that. Do you? Hello everyone, I am Angela and I am going to tell you the global goals for 2030. First of all, climate change makers and activists for nature. The climate crisis is something we must solve, and for that, in some countries around the world, new inventions or innovations have been done. Some of these things are a new, a new natural plastic made from banana skins, which means it will be biodegradable. Also, a toilet with waste less water and 50% of its water is reused. An app to report places with waste that can be taken away safely. And also, uh, the government has banned the plastic bags in some countries. Another important goal is the social justice. Uh, a good example of that is that in North Philadelphia, a group of teenagers reclaimed derelict land in a damaged neighborhood. They have built a farm where they grow fresh food and now it supports hundreds of local homes and restaurants. The last of all is the gender equality. In Jordan, many girls living in refugee camps have to marry so young because they uh, and they don't give up their education. Mithun thought this was a big mistake and she campaigned to convince parents to keep their daughters in a school and not make them to marry too young. Do you want to see cleaner oceans or a future where women have the same rights as men? Do you want to see racial equality achieved? In 2015, world leaders agreed to 17 global goals. These global goals are no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, decent work and economic growth, industry, innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequalities, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and reproduction, climate action, 
life below water, life on land, peace, justice, and strong institutions, partnerships for the goals. Seven years on, we have made progress, but there is still work to be done. All the goals are very important, but from my point of view, the three goals I'm going to talk about are the most important for me. First, gender equality. It is not just a human right issue. It is a tremendous waste of the world's human potential. By denying women equal rights, we deny half the population a chance to live life at its fullest. Political, economic and social equality for women will benefit all the world's citizens. Together, we can eradicate prejudices and work for equal rights and prospect for all. Second, affordable and clean energy. Renewable energy solutions are becoming cheap, more reliable and more efficient every day. Our current reliance on fossil fuels is unsustainable and harmful for the planet, which is why we have to change the way we produce and consume energy. Implementing these new energy solutions as fast as possible is essential to counter climate change, one of the biggest threats to our own survival. And for last, reduce inequalities. Too much of the world's wealth is held by a very small group of people. This often leads to financial and social discrimination. In, our, in order to nations to flourish, equality and prosperity must be available to everyone, regardless of gender, race, religious beliefs or economic status. When every individual is self-sufficient, the entire Hello, world I am prospers. Ronnie, and today I'm going to talk about changes I want to see in the world. First of all, poverty is a very serious problem and we must stop it as soon as possible. There is not only poverty in Africa, there is also poverty, for example, in Spain. A total of 12.5 million people, that is 26.4% of the Spanish population, is in a situation of poverty. Also, equality in education is another very important issue that we must change little by little. We must guarantee equal access to all levels of education and also for vulnerable people. 40% of the population in the world doesn't have access to education. These are some of the things to improve. I'm Carla Salome Borrella, and today I'm going to talk about the fifth global goal gender equality. Achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. This is the brief description of this goal, but let's see what it means. Gender inequality is a huge gender bias that we can easily find in our society. Maybe you're wondering where we can find gender inequality. Let me introduce you to some examples. Let us talk about the gender pay gap. For every dollar that a man makes, a woman gets paid only 83 cents. Wow! Why do women get paid less? You may have asked yourself. Equal pay for equal work, right? Well, let's move on to the 50s and 60s. In those years, women were considered less intelligent than men. They had lower education rates. People considered they couldn't hold power. They should be homemakers. They should raise children. And they were not in the workforce in big numbers. These were the reasons why it was perfectly legal to pay women less. Then things changed. Women started overnumbering men in the workplace. But what about the fact that says that women should raise children? Well, this is still a problem. People still think that women are the ones that should stay at home with their children while the father is working. People think once you're a mom, you shouldn't be in the workplace. It is proven that when a mother has a baby, she spends nine hours a week more than the child's father on childcare and housework. And over a year, that's the equivalent of an extra three months of a full-time job. This is the heart of the pay gap. Men need more money because they have to maintain the family. No, women do the same job. Women shouldn't get paid less. Women can have babies. 
Yeah, but they must work as much as the father does and they must get paid the equal quantity of money. If you're a woman and you work hard, it doesn't matter, you will get paid less. We are talking about life, having the same rights. We are talking about having the same opportunities. Let us think for a moment. Is this normal? Is this something that we should normalize? No, the answer is no. I want to study. I want to work. I want to get paid the same quantity of money as men and the same quantity of money as everyone else. I want a better future. I want to hide like this. I want a change and I want Hi it everyone. now. Hi everyone, I'm Diana and today I'm going to summarize the contents of Emma Watson's speech introducing the global goals. We have an Orient mission to complete by 2030, which is to end global inequality and extreme poverty, as well as to respect our planet. These goals may seem huge, but if we focus on solving problems in our area, we can make a great difference. There are three ways in which we can help. We can invent, like Kelly in Istanbul, Turkey, who came up with a new natural plastic made from banana skins, or Rahid in Mangalore, India, who invented a toilet that reduced the amount of water consumed by 50%. We can innovate, just like Tim Tarius, Nigeria, a group of girls who created an app to help clean rubbish up properly, and we can campaign, like Melari and Isabel in Bali, who created petitions to ban plastic bags in their island, or Misung in Jordan, Syria, who convinced parents to let their daughters continue studying instead of getting married at a young age. Finally, I'm going to explain what global goals are. Global goals are objectives to be achieved across the world that make the Earth a better place to live in and that improve the quality of life of its inhabitants, that is to say, that aim at sustainable development. Well, that is all for today. I hope you liked it and thanks Hello. for listening. Today Bye. we are going to talk again about the global goals for 2030, which are the climate change, the gender equality and social equality. But I am going to focus especially on the climate change. The climate crisis is a very preoccupant and damaged situation for all living things. And the main problem is the human lifestyle. Since the last 100 years, the industries have developed almost everything we use daily, involving big quantities of plastic, which is a significant contaminant. If you want to live and live for the next generations a safe planet, you have to change your lifestyle and trying to reduce the consumption of chemicals which only contaminate the earth. There are several things you can do, but the most important ones are reducing the use of car or any type of vehicle. You can go walking, which also is a good thing for your health. Another thing you can do is recycling as possible as you can. The third thing you can do is consuming things which have a lower use of plastic or renewable plastic or biodegradable plastic. And also you can use renewable things. And there are a lot of things you can do for have a safe place I would to like live. a change about the equality of women and men. I think that some women has difficulties to get a good job or to have the same opportunities I want to see in other cleaner places. oceans because the world must be a good place for living for all living things. If we have cleaned the oceans everything will be better. Due to it is a chain because if the oceans are dirty all kind of fish can die. So Hello, I'm Pablo Muñoz Milan, and these are the changes that I want to see in the world. The end of poverty and famine. The end of wars and that there is no type of violence towards people, that we all be more human. Avoid climate change and that this leads to not throwing garbage into the seas and oceans. And that's why we have to respect everything and everyone. Hello. I am Agustin, and I want to see cleaner oceans in our planet, because we uh, expel a lot of waste to the oceans every year, and lots of animals are harmed and are hurt by this waste.
and they are harmful for them. A lot of fish die every year because of the rabies in the ocean. Also, these rabies uh, that the fish eat, then they go back to us because f- a fisherman that catch this fish uh, catch some fish that are with with these tiny pieces of plastic and then we eat it so they are harmful for the planet for the uh, fl- fauna and the flora living in those areas and also for us that we eat those a uh, fauna and flora that lives in the, in that area so this is we should clean ocean to help us to help fish to help flora and to help the world to be a better one for this we should make campaigns for people that goes to the oceans or maybe uh, just rivers because oceans are uh, comp- are more difficult to uh, collect the rabbits and give them other use be- to uh, not disturb in other places. So with this method, we can uh, we can we can clean the oceans and give all the rabbits another use. So we beneficiate of this situation and we can help all these all these animals and the planet to be a better Hello, one. My name is Elena so Martinka, let's go on. And this is what change I want to see in the world. Look in the past, we have made a progress, but there is still work to be done, and now is more important than ever. We need to take action and stop the climate crisis, the ensuring no one goes hungry, the abuse of human rights, the extreme poverty, the inequality, and many things more. I want an act of justice. There are still a half of the world's population that live in poverty, and lack of food and clean water is killing thousand people every single day of the year. Also, I want to stop the climate change, because we need to protect our planet. It's the only place where we can live. The effects are already visible, and will be catastrophic unless we act now. To help with this, I want people to recycle more, reuse the things we can, and reduce all the necessary things. Also, reduce the use of the car. We can move by bicycle or walking, isn't it? Another important thing, talking about pollution, I want all the oceans, forests, and many places more to be clean. We are killing animals and destroying their habitats. Also, I want equality in the world. We are all equal. We are all humans with all the same rights for everyone in this planet. No matter your religion, your skin tone, if you are a woman, a man, a boy or a girl, we are all equal. Also, because we are all equal, I want a quality education and good health for everyone and many things more. We all can change the world. Put in our grain of sand, we can save and change the world. Please, Hi take everyone. action now. I'm Diana and today I'm going to talk about a very important global goal in the UN's 2030 agenda. That is climate action. Climate change is a very real threat to the planet and its population, including us, and it is already taking a toll on natural environments. We need to take guardian action and educate ourselves to protect the Earth, our home. Furthermore, these changes can even provide opportunities to improve our infrastructures and create new jobs, as well as to promote prosperity. We need to bear in mind that every little change we make in our daily lives can have a great impact on the planet, so we have to try our best not to do anything that's harmful. We should start adapting ourselves to a way of living that is sustainable and raise awareness for others to do the same. Integrating a new policy may be something a little more difficult to accomplish by ourselves, but if we set our mind to it, we can create a petition for the government to incorporate it. It is paramount to always stand by our convictions and fight for the change we want to see happen. Another thing everybody can do for this cause is recycling the stuff you have and giving a second life to something you own. If you want to go a little further, you can even donate to charities that support this goal and compost food scrap to reduce your carbon footprint. Some other actions you can easily incorporate to your routine are buying environmentally friendly and reusable products, and walking or taking public transport to places whenever possible. Moreover, reducing the amount of meat you eat and your use of plastic are fantastic ideas as well. Whatever it is that you decide to do to help the earth is welcome and will benefit us all. 
Just remember that your current actions will determine the future of our beautiful planet. Well, this is the end of this podcast. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Hello, I'm Mar- Hello, I'm Marta, and I will like a chain of women and men. Um, I think that some women have dif- difficulties to get a good job or to have the same opportunities like the men or in that other things. Living is far from perfect. That's why the United Nations Global Goals exist to try to make it a better place through international cooperation. There are many changes that the world needs to see. But, from my perspective, the most important ones are the following. Getting quality education for all is the base for producing any significant changes in the world and one of the tools we can use to get them. They say knowledge is power, and I am certain that it is true and that by having free and accessible education, the earth will turn into a better place. Climate action should also be prioritized by governments and people to save the planet and every creature on it from a green future, if there even is one. This goal is essential for everyone's survival and, although in the last few years it has started to be given more importance, there's still a long way to go. And last but not least, gender equality is still a more than relevant issue and we must close the gap that exists between how men and women are treated so everyone can truly have the same opportunities regardless of their sex. All in all, there are a lot more changes that should be introduced in our governments and societies to make the world a better place, but these are what I consider to be the most important and urgent ones.